So when I remove the hydraulic strut, the way that I brought it out was I took the, took it out with this um, control arm, which is the lower rear, the front lower rear control arm. And the reason I did that is it's very difficult to get any kind of a pickle fork or anything to remove this ball joint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this nut off, which I've already pretty loose. And as you can see, and then I'm going to put this whole assembly up here on my hydraulic press. socket under this side over here just to hold it kind of flat level. Okay. And then oh and by the way this hydraulic press is very inexpensive. I bought this at Harbor Freight for gosh not much more than a hundred bucks, maybe hundred and twenty dollars. I don't know. Anyway Instead of trying to beat this thing into submission on the car or using a pickle fork, this is just a so much better way to do it. Get this thing down here. Give it a couple of cramps. And boom. There it is. That, my friends, is all it takes separate that from the control arm, which was one of the things that Brandon said took a long time. So if you do it this way, it's like two minutes. It takes, takes no time, no effort, and now we'll put that arm back up in there with the new with the new uh, strut and it'll all be good.